Hi, this is Craig Severance from the Zero Energy Channel. Come join us as we work to address the challenge of moving toward a world with zero energy from fossil fuels. If you are lucky enough to be in the mountains, you are lucky enough. We are here in Fairplay, Colorado at the best place to be in Fairplay, Colorado, the Java Moose Deli Cafe. And uh, we are going to buy today our land in the mountains near here. And we'll be going over to the title company uh, very soon. We're here at Fairplay uh, at the title company and we're going to go sign the papers. Here's Fair, the view around Fairplay, Colorado, a small town high in the mountains. We're here in the office of the title company and we just bought the five acre land on a mountainside at about 10,000 feet. And here's Jimmy Anderson on the right who sold it to us and my wife Avis and Donna. Donna with the title company here in the fair place. So we are next going to visit the land and show you where we're going to be living. Well, we're walking up to our property because uh, this part of the low of the uh, road uh, apparently is not plowed in winter uh, by anybody up here, and uh, which means we're definitely going to end up buying a, uh, a, a snowplow attachment for our uh, F-250 truck, which we do not have with us today. And uh, this is definitely an adventure, and not for the faint of heart. This is where we're going to end up being. Uh, this we're not from up to the property yet. I'll take another shot when we get there. Uh, very wide open expanse, mountains all around. You can't see them right today. Um, it's also a place where the buffalo herds, bison herds, and deer, of course, and antelope play out there on the range all the time. And if that brings to mind those particular song, I'll let you sing it yourself to yourself. Uh, I'll show you from the land next. This red marker here marks the eastern edge of our property, which is a five acre partial stretching a long way out that direction, which is north. Pan here a little bit. You can see we have evergreen trees on the land. There were wildflowers growing in this meadow couple weeks ago when it was clear. Here's the road that uh, isn't plowed yet and which I woke just walked up. Next to us we have seasonal campers. There's, they don't ever seem to be here in the winter. Those, and There's a reason for that. This gets to be sub-zero temperatures here with high winds in the winter and of metal and plastic box like that. If anybody's ever experienced it, you don't want to ever do that again, which is why we're using a much better construction with the tiny house model. Well, for while we camp on our land, the county lets us camp on our land while we build our permanent property, and this county is pretty patient about that. We'll make progress, but we'll be using the tiny house to be the camper, much better quality living for no more than we would pay, probably less than we'd pay for a pretty high-priced plastic and metal RV box. So this is where we are going to be putting a, our tiny house camper by this summer. The adventure begins. Just so you know why we're doing this, this is our new neighborhood. They say in this territory, now this is Colorado. Our new neighborhood, or a tiny house, is going to be located. Worth everything we're going to do.
Here's our Prius after just visiting the property we just bought. We didn't even try to go up the quarter mile that hadn't been plowed yet. We got this way just on the rather muddy gravel road that had been plowed. Here's a view from the inside through the window where you could barely see outside because of all the dirt. I understand how the trucks that come out of the mountains always look like this. Guess we'll be going to this solar car wash a lot. Well, definitely the adventure begins. Hello, my name is Eric. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up down below. Also, if you want to subscribe, that's good too. Join us on the Zero Energy channel.